WatchOS 10 is set to be the largest software update of the Apple Watch since the launch of the original Apple Watch. And reports are also saying that the Apple Watch Series 9 won't be a really large update because Apple is reserving all of its features for Apple's upcoming WatchOS 10. And there's a lot to talk about. So in this video, we're going to talk about the release date, but most importantly, all of Apple's upcoming rumored features. June 5th is WWDC and WatchOS 10 is set to be announced then. Right after the event is over, the first betas for developers go out. So as soon as the keynote is finished, we should have our first hands-on with WatchOS 10. Then around July, the first public beta will be released so anybody can get their hands on the beta. And then during the summer, Apple will release beta updates, beta 1, beta 2, until the final version of watchOS 10. Usually the way that it works is that the final version of watchOS should be released, the final version, on September. So keep out an eye for that. So in terms of compatibility, reports are saying that all Apple Watch from the Apple Watch Series 4 and up should be compatible with watchOS 10. So if you've got the Apple Watch Series 1, 2, or 3, it will not be compatible. But if you've got the Apple Watch Series 4 and above, you should, which is still, Apple Watch Series 4 was released a long, long time ago, which is good. So what will watchOS 10 have? And look, there's a lot of people that always say, what can you add to the Apple Watch? What else is there to add with such a little tiny device? And I totally disagree. I've got so many ideas on what Apple could do for the future of the Apple Watch in terms of its hardware. But most importantly, I feel like the potential that the Apple Watch has is in its software. There's so much that the Apple Watch could do, especially now with the Apple Watch Ultra, especially with that bigger display, there's so much that the Apple Watch could do. So now I wanted to tell you what the rumors are looking like with what the reports are saying. So there's a lot of people talking about a redesign, a total overhaul on watchOS, which is super exciting. And it's kind of reminding me of what Apple did with iOS 7. It felt like a brand new lineup of a product because the whole design of the iPhone was totally changed. And if Apple does this with the Apple Watch, it gets me so excited because we've had the same design, we've had the same home screen since the launch of the original Apple Watch and nothing has really changed. Reports are saying that we will have a redesigned home screen with different layouts and we could even see folders being added to the Apple Watch, which for me is awesome to see. Widgets are also expected to come so you won't really necessarily need to open the weather app, you would just see the weather directly on your home screen. Live activities though, is what gets me really excited, which is a feature that came on the iPhones. If you order an Uber, you'll see the progress of the Uber coming next to you, or if you're ordering food, or if you're tracking a sports game. There's been a concept by Parker Ertilani, which I've been following for ages, which Parker, I know you watch my videos, so thank you so much for supporting. He's designed this awesomely, beautifully designed concept of watchOS, which I wanted to share with you because there's some really awesome ideas. Starting off with new apps, for example, the Keychain app. Parker is envisioning a Keychain app directly on the Apple Watch. You know, iCloud Keychain is really useful on Safari, but you gotta go to a certain website for, you know, a website to ask you for a password in order for you to access iCloud Keychain. I don't understand why it's not really here yet. It makes total sense, especially having it on the Apple Watch. If you need to quickly check a, a password, you would just open up the app and automatically know it. So that makes total sense. Parker is also envisioning a Explorer. There's a bunch of apps in the App Store that give you the best hikes, the best trails, but Apple doing that natively inside of the Apple Watch, I think would be really smart. And it would be, you know, a companion to the workout app. And I would definitely love to see that. Something else that I've been wanting for ages is the health app coming to the Apple Watch. The health app, you know, summarizes your entire health on the iPhone. I've got like a smart um, weight that, you know, I can weigh myself and I got my weight on my iPhone and it's great, but there's no app on the Apple Watch for it, which is crazy because the Apple Watch is Apple's health device and Apple not having a health app on the Apple Watch has never made sense to me, so fingers crossed it will come on this watchOS 10. Who's messaging me? And for those of you who take the activity rings seriously and you're trying to achieve those medals that the activity rings give you, 
being sick really sucks or or traveling and sitting on an airplane is is really annoying because it breaks your streak, right? So having a rest mode would let the Apple Watch know you're sick and you can stand. And you know, it's basically like a cheat day, but for the activity ring. So it wanna constantly ask you, stand up, stand up. You could be like, I'm sick. A Link Parker is concept down below in the description if you guys wanna check it out. He also designed a Safari app, a sports app, and a bunch of other features coming to Watch OS 10 if you guys wanna take it a look. Something that I personally would love to see coming to the Apple Watch is a watch face store to specific third-party developers. Just imagine if, if Apple would give the watch face store key to Disney and we could have Marvel, Disney, Star Wars, or giving it to Netflix, to Adidas. There's so much possibility on what a third party watch face store could do. I understand why Apple's not opening up to everybody, but a smart thing to do is just choose specific developers to start with in order for them to start designing watch faces. It would be so sick. So that's it for Watch OS 10. If you guys wanna know the best apps for the Apple Watch Ultra, you know what to do. And if you guys wanna check out the best review you've ever seen of the Apple Watch Ultra, tap this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.